unilateral actions to further his transformation of America. What say you, Michael Savage? <laughs> You must have read my mind last night as I slept. I railed yesterday for three straight hours on KSFO about what this man has done to the police of this country. The anti-police rhetoric has now yielded this uh, epidemic of murder of white cops by black thugs. It's sickening. He did it. He, Sharpton, Holder, de Blasio. Do you remember the litany that went on? Do you remember how they attacked police over and over again? Remember the false narrative of Ferguson, which led to these movements of thugs under the guise of social activism? It's unbelievable to me what damage he has done. What about internationally? Look what he's done internationally. Look at North Africa. Look at the Middle East. It's been completely turned upside down. Bad guys have been uh, empowered. I'm looking at what's happening with ISIS. It frightens me to death. There's another Holocaust going on on this planet, and no one's seemingly doing anything about it. Well, look, Brian, you see, you're, you're not thinking clearly. The reason the feminists say nothing about the rape, the wholesale, which I call industrial rape of young girls by their friends in ISIS, is because, well, I guess no one knows that it's even being done, just as they don't know about babies' body parts being sold for profit by the Nazis in Planned Parenthood. Even Hitler's Germany didn't sell baby body parts. Do you know that? But the yeah, fascist Nazis that. and Planned Parenthood are actually at a level of humanity on par with that of the Holocaust, by the way. And I'll stand up to any professional Holocaust individual on that statement. I've never seen anything like this, the level of denial. I'm hoping that we've, we just got a little snapshot of what's going down on the Savage Show between 12 and 3 here on KSFO. I wanted to kind of coast into the... Uh, autumn here and then to calm down but this man is so demonic the damage he is doing nationally and internationally is so devastating that unless we all start screaming i don't know how much of this country will be left for our children when is the republican party michael savage going to get a clue when you look at the latest polling you see trump and carson and fiorina these are non-politicians sucking up all the oxygen when are they going to get a grip on the fact that we're tired of politics as usual well first of all i'm proud to announce donald trump is on my show tomorrow wednesday on KSFO oh, good and good. all the other stations not okay. easy to get him on even though i backed him from day one you know he's everywhere uh when there is no republican party it, it's nothing it's a collection of lobbyists you know that and i know that which is why they're panicking because the people have finally stood up to them with a real candidate a couple of real candidates. I've always been a big fan of Ben Carson. It's interesting that he's a black man, no grip on the African-American community. Why is that? Well, it's an old story, which we've talked about since the 1990s. Once a minority ceases to espouse left-wing viewpoints, he or she loses their minority status. Mm -hmm. They're of no use whatsoever to the left-wing, if you want to call it that, I would call it the left fascist juggernaut. Very useful to use them to bring it all down, girl. The minute that they're part of the nation and want to, and, and want to support the nation, contribute to the nation, they are of no interest to the Sidney Blumenthal's of the world. Speaking of which, did you see what came out in Hillary's secret email release about Blumenthal's son? Yes, yes, I did. We're, we're going to talk about that in the next hour. Michael, we have a hard break, and certainly Michael knows what that is coming All up. Right, I'll be, All right, I'll be right, back for me. All right, you can cut it off. That was pretty good. Brian Sussman, always a pleasure to be on his show with Katie Green in the morning. And Brian fills in for me a lot. Actually, I think you should call him for Friday. I need a three-day weekend. I think I'm going to go to Los Angeles for a few days to experience some culture and get out of this cesspool of San Francisco. I just love this city. It, it walks around with such pretense that it's somehow an artistic cultural center of the world. It's unbelievable to me what an out-of-town place this is. Maybe I never belonged here. Who knows? Maybe I'm a man out of step with the place. Who knows? But all I know is that I don't even go over the bridge anymore because every time I do, there are criminals... There are bums, there's feces, there's urine. Just this last Friday, for example, rush hour, a group of terrorists on bicycles blocked traffic on the Marina Boulevard as people were coming home from a hard day's work, would not let them get onto the bridge. These thugs on bicycles were driving backwards on the boulevard, freaking out drivers, and a bunch of these thugs surrounded a woman in a little car, 
yelled at her, intimidated her. They're all cowards, these bicyclists, you know that, in these groups. I mean, I bicycle, but when you see groups like this, they're thugs, they're cowards. They surrounded her. They beat her car in with a tire chain, a bicycle lock, and broke her window. Now, wait, here's the punchline. When confronted by the, with the police, when the police were asked why they haven't made an arrest of this thug who was caught on videotape, listen what the police in San Francisco said. They cannot make an arrest because no police report was filed. This is San Francisco under the one-party system of the Democrat socialist machine that has been allowed to metastasize into this cancer. And that's why I say to you, I didn't leave my heart in San Francisco. Believe me, uh, we'll let it go at that. All right, let's go to the callers. A lot of new topics, some old ones. The phone number, uh, if you care to join the conversation. Manhunt underway north of Chicago for three suspects in the murder of another police officer. They still haven't found the murderers. Three armed gunmen suspected in the murder this morning of a police officer shot during another traffic stop. And, of course, it's not happening in a vacuum, as I've expressed to you. These cop killers are happening because there's a climate that was created by you-know-who. By you-know-who. Line three, Vanessa, on my hometown of San Francisco, takes umbrage with me. Go ahead, Vanessa. Oh, you're from San Francisco, and you're talking about it so badly. Hey, how, what's going on? Um, so you're talking well, wait a minute. You mean, wait, so, ma'am, okay, go on to your point, please. Hey, no, 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 no offense to San Francisco, because I'm actually heading to San Francisco right now from Los Angeles. Ma'am, I don't know what you're talking about. What did you call to say? Okay, what I called to say was that you're over here saying that there's a lot of police being shot and all these things, but you're not... You're not pointing out the fact that there is a lot of crime right now targeting a certain amount, certain people, and we all know who it is, and I don't need to repeat it. And Wait, you're so you're saying, it, you're saying it's okay to shoot police. Are you justifying that? Um, that is not what I said. Have you heard what I said? Well, that's what, you that's what you just said. You're justifying the murder of police. That's what you just said. I realize, that you, I realize that you can't reason and that you never learn that there are consequences to what comes out of your mouth because you were educated, so-called, in the brainwashing academies called the, uh, the school system. But what you just said justifies the shooting of police. Don't you understand that? Go ahead. Um, you wanted to talk about the school system. Yeah, that's why people are leaving California, because the school system, what about San Francisco? Teachers are not being paid enough, and why are people leaving? Because their kids cannot be educated. We are supposed to be an educated nation, but what is going on if California cannot come up with some teachers to teach our generation? Right, and, and why do you suppose that they're not teaching our children? What are they teaching in the schools? Hate America, hate the family, hate the church, hate God, hate police, hate white people? Have you seen the agenda in the San Francisco schools? Of course not. That's not correct. What All right. I'm going to take a quick break. I mean, the yappy voice is enough to set me off for another hour. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. Tony Bennett needs a raincoat and galoshes to walk down the street, I would imagine. Anyway, here we are, the end of hour two on the Savage Nation. And I have another huge hour across America with the privilege of speaking with so many millions of people. And I'd like to speak with you about all the issues of the day and also my musings on all the things that amuse me, including where I eat, what I watch on television. Yeah, let's see. I didn't tell you about my, my dinner last night in an Indian restaurant yet. I, I missed the buffet. You haven't heard the buffet talk. I've stopped going to Indian buffets. Uh, what do I watch on television? I haven't talked about the Ray Donovan episode, which I liked. It was great. The thing with the priest has got to be the high point of the show. I mean, it's unbelievable. The molestation deal with the sons and how it affected the three of them. Um, and I got to tell you this. They got a new director for that episode of Ray Donovan. And Leif Schreiber's looking more rugged. Whoever did the last episode made Leif Schreiber look like a tougher guy. Either they filmed it all. I don't know, but something changed. He looks rugged. Either the cinematographer changed, directing changed, something changed since I started saying he looked like light in the loafers. From the beginning, I, I thought he was wrong. He looked great. 
Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. All right, called Under the Boardwalk, fine. Now, the reason I'm playing Under the Boardwalk is because during the break, I was scanning for new news. I didn't want to talk about the, the cop killers on the run or Obama on uh, the sun, none of that. So I found this story. Pregnant French tourist makes public plea for mystery lover she met on vacation in Moulu Laba. A French tourist who said she had a whirlwind romance with a mystery man while on vacation three months ago on the Australian coast made a public plea today for information, oh, yesterday, for information to lead her back to the man she believes impregnated her during their brief encounter. This is an hilariously funny story, and I'll tell you why. As love affairs that begin the last night of holiday go, writes the author of the article on Fox News. This is not a unique one. Natalie Amiot's vacation in Australia was coming to an end. She attended a party at an Irish pub near the beach and remembers meeting a man, and she said it was love at first sight, of course. He was tall, tanned from the beach, had blonde hair and piercing blue eyes. Uh, what else is new? A worker from the pub told Fox News that it is the pub's long-standing policy not to comment on those who fall in and out of love at their establishment. So they're going to have to take the young lady's word for it. She said, we had a beautiful night, but she can't find them. Why? You see, she left Australia the next day and landed in Paris. And when she looked to grab her phone, she realized it was lost, along with the phone number for the mystery man. She said, I have no way of contacting him. And six weeks later, I found out that I'm pregnant. Well, her 24 hours old YouTube video has gone viral. And she started a Facebook page. She said she is back in Mooloolooba in search for the Australian man <laughs> and posted a photo of the white shoreline pressed against the blue sky. Uh, one of the kind of Facebook commenters wrote this, such a beautiful place for dreams to become a reality. Have that faith. She gives precisely few, uh, preciously few details about the man and why it took her three months to begin the search. But the story offers all... What? Oh, all of us who hope that love could strike when you least expect it. And when it does, to give it chase, even if even it's on a beach nearly 10,000 miles away. Amut said there is only one happiness in life, to love and be loved. Well, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure that's why she went back to Australia. I'm not so sure. I think there's a paternity lawsuit in her mind. But anyway, that's a little story that's a little off the topic, and it's a little change of pace. We're going to talk about the manhunt for three suspected cop killers? No, thanks. Let's see what else I'm not going to talk about that are in the headlines. Uh, stock market down 500 points? No, thanks. Dow 468 down. Obama's up there renaming mountains in, uh, in Alaska. Yeah, okay. Manhunt underway. Clinton campaign caught on tape accepting foreign donation. Blah, blah, blah. Hillary intentionally originated and distributed highly classified information. Rah, rah, rah. Kate Steinle's family to sue San Francisco and Sheriff Mir uh, Murky Kami and uh, federal officials over sanctuary cities. Senator Murky Kami, I don't know how he still has his job. How does Mr. Murky Kami still have a job? I don't understand it. He's the one who released uh, the Mexican into the, into the population and sh who shot the girl, allegedly shot the girl. Allegedly shot the gun because the uh, liberal defense attorney said that he didn't do the shooting. The gun did it itself. Maybe a ghost pulled the trigger. I don't really know. But I don't know how Sheriff Murky Kami keeps his job. I don't get it. All right, let's take some calls. Perry W. M. A. L. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Yeah, um, you and I, as I told your screen, and we're on the same sheet of music in a lot of ways. Matter of fact, the last time I spoke to you, I had mentioned something about what the nation needs to do and the nation needs to come back to God and. You even said we need to take it on the road. You preach first, or I preach the second wave, you know, something like that. But there's a couple of things, and you're very good for the country because you have an a un, a unparalleled love for this country, but then you got to 
kind of be balanced with your facts. Now, for instance, I you heard you um you had said um in your montage yesterday about 